flies flurry, footprint fresh, steaming hot dung. This is from the gazelle. Wild goat, antelope, the buck, the elk. Here comes the gazelle. Barely standing, newly born, toppling over, mother standing over me. I am the son of a gazelle, a burst of speed, swiftly flee from sprung a gazelle, standing out. Amongst the gazelle, start running. When the sun come up, become the gazelle, never following the herd. European voyeur standing steadfast across the roaring river, absorbing timber. We have found the forest dwellers, a tribe of 40 members, gathering on the river banks of no currency, the shores of splendor. The poor cleanse their pores with swarms of fingers pouring where water was pure, washing their wounds of war with pitchers, huge leaves that caught the weather. It was August 7th, the expedition led us to a remote land north of our villa Mules saddled with swords and porridge and silver. The lush green jungle backdrops dead gorgeous. Picture the shimmer off the reflective surface of water. Our ancestors mirror rushing along and you are hardly remembered. Mosquitoes biting through the long sleeve of the long sweater. Malaria taking all precautionary measure. Cautious as ever embarking on our endeavors. Having found the lodge in the forest is swelter. People here are wearing no clothes, torso of feathers, the last shred of humankind's dignity found in the wardrobe of settlers. The sun has risen, it's early morning, the snoring's been censored, video camera and microphone equipment are morphing together, children run and play on the brown soil, rich with corpses filtered fresh with the remnants of footprints of back and forth trekkers, smoke wafting through the forests from off a glorious ember standing in the very spot as our ancestors the great frontier imaginary line drawn descendant forgotten planes flying overhead like large birds born with engines according to legend you people are the last of the forest dwellers so isolated you've escaped both benefit and burden, you haven't saw us yet. You're still busy with your morning agenda. Our guide tells us, whatever we do, do not shout towards the Seneca. It is important not to disturb the fourth world. Adoring vigor, time warping visitors, touring through dementia. Tobacco drifted across the river, smell the calming force of fermenta, sun beaming off a liquor flask, and it dawned the dilemma. The natives gathered, exploring the perimeter. Awesome adventure was now breath, shortness, gorilla, white hands waving with reassurance and quivered the Indian loaded his bow and sent it soaring for Seneca standing there shook down to the core of your center return fire <laughs>